Praise God. You know, God is so good. He is so good. And there's nothing impossible for the Lord. And he loves you. I want to make it clear. Every time I get up here, I want to let the church know that Jesus loves you. Amen. And you are so important to the King. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's all stand. We're going to go to the King in prayer before the word is coming forth. Hallelujah. Father, I give you praise on this day, God. Lord, I praise you, Lord, for the anointing that breaks yokes, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you are the God that is standing up, Lord. I praise you, Lord, for the joy of the Lord is our strength, Lord. And, Lord, I praise you for your word. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from Jeremiah chapter 18. The Bible says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise. See, when you get a word from the Lord, God says, I want you to arise. I want you to hear what I got to say. And go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear my words. Jeremiah, I want you to rise and go down to the potter's house. And I'm going to cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house. And behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. Here Jeremiah was watching the potter. And he seen the wheel going. He seen the clay being put on the wheel, and he was getting a vision, and the Lord was speaking to him. He was getting a, a picture vision. He was seeing this, and God was speaking in his ear. Have you ever been in a place where God took you from one point to another, and, and he was just staring off into something, and God just started speaking to you? It, you know, that happened to me with my husband. I knew that he was going to go home and be with the Lord. I did. Before he even got sick, before he ended up with cancer, the Lord, I was outside one day, and I just got this deep stare at him as he was working. And the Lord, I felt like the Lord, he was telling me, he said, I'm going to take Darren home. I'm going to take him home. But I didn't know how he was going to do it. I didn't know how he was going to do it. I went to Darren. My heart broke. I went to Darren. I said, Darren, I've got to tell you something. I feel like Jesus is going to take you away from me. I feel like you're going to go home. And sure enough, it happened. And, and God, he will let you know things if you be still and hear him. He was preparing me. I didn't realize the depth of it. But God, he seen my heart. He knew the devastation that it would cause me. So God started preparing my heart for what he was fixing to do. That's what he did. And, you know, when I told Darren, Darren looked at me like I was crazy. But I knew. I already knew. And he was healthy and well at the time. But I knew. It says, then I went down to the potter's house. And behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel. Here he was down there, and he seen this clay. It was marred in the hand of the potter. It's, it, it says, as seem good to the potter to make it. And it says, O house of Israel. Can I not do with you as the potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, saith the o house of Israel. But instead for me to say, O house of Israel, O house of New Emmanuel. Amen. O house of New Emmanuel. Amen. See, you are in the potter's hand. God is doing a work in you and in me. When he sees a clay that 
We are vessels of clay. And who are we to speak to the potter and tell him how we should be, how we should be created, how we should be molded, where we should go, what we should speak, because God's hand is upon us. He's the potter and we are the clay. He puts the clay on the wheel. He gathers his tools. He mounts the clay on the wheel. He adds water to the clay that so it will, so the um, clay will not stick to the potter's hands. And you know, I thought about that. I said, Lord, is that our, our tears? Because we are broken. We are a broken clay. But God sees something valuable in us. He says, I want to bring that value out of you. He says, I'm going to put you back on that wheel. He says, I'm going to make you a vessel unto honor. He begins to pound and squash the clay. Have you ever been pounded? Have you ever been through any trials that hurt you, that broke you to pieces, that left you flat on your face before God and said, God, please take me off of this wheel.
clay. I'm taking this vase and I'm moving her over here. I'm putting her over here. And she's going to be over my sheep. She's going to pasture my flock. Because I have appointed her. I have anointed her to preach my word. I have called her to heal the brokenhearted with my word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, Arise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, Emmanuel. Yeah. Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah. You are powerful because of the finished work of Jesus Christ at the cross, because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, No man can snatch you out of his hand. No Because we are living in perilous times. 
Hallelujah. The enemy is trying to take you away from the call that God has called you into. Each one of you has a gift. God has invested in you. He is the great architect of your soul. He is the great architect of your vessel. Hallelujah. And he knows what he's doing. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard to stop him in his tracks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the Bible says, I know God wanted that done. Your feet being washed. It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? And as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Of good things. I tell you what, anybody that's carrying the word of God in them, they're carrying Jesus. Your feet are beautiful. Your feet are beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you did the church remember when I ministered, the Lord said, go and tell them this. He said, when you go back in there, you remember when you told them that they were kings and they were priests in the sight of God. God says, I want you to tell them why. I said, okay, Lord, I'll tell them if you put me back up there. The Lord says, because I'm the king. I'm the priest. When you accepted me as your Lord and Savior, I came in and took my boat up in you. I started walking through you. I started speaking through you. The king and the priest is living in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I told you that you don't see yourself that way, but God says you've got to see yourself that way because Jesus is in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and uh, oh Lord, my God. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. He is clothed with honor and majesty. Yes. Hallelujah. He is great. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Who layeth the beams of the chambers in the waters. Who make the clouds his chariots. Who walk upon the wings of the wind. Who maketh his angel spirit and his minister the flaming fire. Hallelujah. We are a flaming fire for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible said, go magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Exalt ye the Lord our God. And worship in his footstool. For he is holy. Hallelujah. His feet are holy. He is holy. He is worthy. Just to be in the presence the Lord is holy. Hallelujah. Because the King is worthy. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And it and, and is safe. We run into the Lord and we into his name. And we're safe. We're protected because of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have got to trust God no matter what. We gotta trust God no matter what we're going through. We gotta know the power of the name. Jesus, hallelujah. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust him. He knows if you trust him. He goes into the deep parts of your heart and your soul. And he looks in, he knows your thoughts, hallelujah. The Bible says, be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go before thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. He will not fail you. He will not forsake you. The Bible says he will never leave you nor forsake you. He says I'll be with you till the end of the world. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus. The Bible says verily, verily I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go to the Father. The same works that Jesus did. He said, greater works shall we do because we believe on him and he's with the Father. And he sent the Holy Ghost. When we accepted Jesus Christ, he sent the Holy Ghost to come in, to take his home up in us, and he will lead us and guide us in all truth. And we got to hear his voice. Hallelujah. He wants to lay his hands on the sick and they recover. He wants you to speak the word of God and they will prevail in the atmosphere. When you speak God it's like you're going into another realm. God said to tell you, you're going into another realm. You're going into the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Because the enemy is like, it's like a, when the enemy is throwing fiery darts at you and you start speaking the word of God, it distinguishes all the fiery darts of the enemy. Hallelujah. You may not see it in the flesh realm, but in the physical 
realm comes to you, God is doing it. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible said it's not by mind nor by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing center of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and tents of the heart. Hallelujah. See, his, his word is a discerner of the thoughts and tents of the heart. When you get in the word of God and you're reading it, it's discerning you. It's, it's seeing your thoughts. It's seeing your thought process. As you're looking at the word. Hallelujah. It's not only are you, you're discerning the word and looking at it and thinking about it, but it's coming back That's and right. discerning you. That's Hallelujah. Right. And it's going in and it's cutting things out. It should be.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God wants to do great things. Hallelujah. He's the God that shut the mouth up of the lions. When Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, hallelujah, the Lord says, I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. I am praised, he said. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He said, if you're in the valley, he says, I'm the lily of the valley. He says, I'm in that valley with you. You're not in it alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the God that healed your legs. He's the God that healed your arthritis. He's the God that restores back to you. The blind shall see. The ears shall hear. The stopper shall come out. Hallelujah. God is doing a great mighty thing upon the earth. God wants us to come forth and be bold. How can your gift get strong unless you exercise it? Just like your body. How can you get a muscle unless you go pick those weights? Thank you, Lord. I hear the Lord telling me, hallelujah, hallelujah. Exercise the gifts. God said the gifts that he has invested in you. He says, I want you to exercise them. There's times you might get it wrong. There's times you might not. He said, but every time you exercise those gifts, always bring it before me. Always bring it before him. And even after you exercise him, even before and after you speak to the Lord, talk to God about it. Because we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. The Bible says that the Lord is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Man will find flaws in you. But God looks down and says, that's my kid right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I want to tell you, God can heal you. God can restore back to you. You may be on the potter's wheel, and it doesn't feel too good. You may feel that pounding going on. But God is making something beautiful out of you. Something that he's going to use for his glory. Hallelujah. The poking and the prodding never, never helps. It never feels good. You want to come off that wheel sometimes. I get to where I say, Lord, take me off. Please, God, I can't take it no more. Then I get to thinking about it. And I say, Lord, don't change my mind. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what I do. Because I want God to do the finished work that he's doing in me. Right. It hurts. And I don't want to come off. But I go back and say, never mind, God. You see my heart anyway. But God's got to finish work he wants to do in his people. God is building his church. Hallelujah. And he's going to restore back. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what? Let's